Hello Capricorn, I'm Ulrich, I'm a Ramon card reader, and today we will do a triplet, a three card reading for the sign of Capricorn for the month of December. These are very short card readings that take approximately seven minutes. Uh, these are done with three cards, and as always, we will do four card readings for the sign of Capricorn for the month of December. And these are based on the natural elements in your astrological chart, or for some of you, on your time of birth. These basic elements are air, earth, water, and fire. Now, the four objects that you always see on my table are directly connected to those elements. So you choose or you pick one that you think relates most to your personality, or you choose one you feel most comfortable with. This object of your choice, it should, or it will relate the best to your current situation. However, if the object and the related video does not match your first choice, please check the other videos that are immediately connected in the same session. I'm sure one of the four will fit you. Anyway, the matches represent the fire element, the stone represents the earth element, the aerosol sprayer represents the air element, and the shell represents the water element. So Capricorn, here we go for your uh, short triplet card reading for December 2021. Hello Capricorn and welcome to the shell or the water group for your triplet. As you see, I put the nine cards here because this is actually your nine card portrait. What I will do is I will extract three cards out of this uh, card uh, reading that I have chosen. I have chosen the middle line because I think this is an interesting line. Of course, also I want to uh, mention some uh, importance here. The, the central card here is the house. So it means that our central uh, is our house. Our house is very important now, uh, meaning the place where we're living, but it can also mean the place where we are working. The people around us uh, are also uh, important for us. And also we need to get things on the move here. This is what we are seeing here. Probably we need to stand our ground and we need to face certain challenges in our life. Then we have the snake, the house, uh, and uh, the sit. The snake and the house, it points that uh, probably on the workplace or on our home environment, there is some dishonesty. Something is uh, going on there. Uh, it's possible also that um, we cannot reveal our feelings. With, this, with the snake, it's best not to reveal what we are thinking, what we are feeling here. Um, also on the house on itself, on the construction of the house, it's possible that there is some, something wrong with the plumbing, with the wiring. That is then more on the practical side. Uh, we could also have a strong desire for starting a future in the near family. Uh, anyway, some women could visit our house also. This is what we are seeing here also. If we are in the house ourselves, the place where we live, or the workplace, we could feel threatened. Uh, it's possible that we don't feel very safe in our workplace or in our home environment. Anyway, here, some people around us uh, looks good deceived. People could act in a different way than they actually are. This is what we are seeing here also. It's like the colleagues or the people that work around us are not honest, they are false. Uh, sometimes they want to uh, stab us in the back and maybe we don't notice this, but normally when you have the snake there, you will notice here because mostly we see it coming here. Um, also, sometimes uh, we need to be a little bit strict. We need to implement strict rules uh, for keeping our distance here. This is what we are seeing here, especially if we feel that there is something going on around us. Probably we are unwilling because there is a threatening situation around us. We are not willing here to bend or break the rules. This is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination. Uh, also, sometimes at this point, there is a very strong uh, focus on family business. It's possible that you're, you're involved somehow in the family business and that things are not totally clear there or that things are not totally honest there. This is what we are seeing here. Here we see also that we draw certain lines and we don't cross these lines. Also, we will not accept from others that the, they cross these lines. Um, here, it could be somebody in the family who tries to pull the strings, who try to guide you or says you, you need to go in this direction, but probably this is not going very well. Uh, there's like a very uncomfortable uh, situation here going on with the snake. Anyway, um, if we are working towards uh, certain goals, we could be very focused on these goals. It's like we can, uh, we can very be very focused and not let us distract 
from anything around us. This is also a very good combination for that. Then we have the house and the sit on itself. Um, here we see that suddenly on our workplace or in our home environment, there are changes. Suddenly from one day to another, they could be very severe changes here. This could be related to the family or to our colleagues, or maybe we, we break with something uh, on the work front. It's possible that you take distance from your family suddenly, like there's a family split, a family separation, and you really take your bags and you go out for a certain while. It's like you start with the child here that you are planning to start uh, something new here. It's possible also that this causes you certain difficulties and maybe you feel pain in your body because the situation might be a little bit stressing. Anyway, here with this combination, we should move slowly. We should not reveal our plans. If we are planning to move out, out of our work or out of the family home, or we are planning to move, we should keep these plans private for us. Don't share this act when it's the right moment. When, once your plan is made, you can immediately put the wheels into action. But first, you need to make your plans in quietness. Don't share the information. This is very important. But it's possible that you need to attend certain things, but it doesn't mean that you need to reveal your, um, your plans here. The whole home situation here or work situation could be very stressing for you. Then we come to, we're gonna mirror the cards, we're gonna mirror the snake and the sit, we're gonna mirror them towards each other. And here, if we stay in this situation, if we think, okay, I just accept, the situation is not gonna improve. It's gonna get worse. And it's possible that literally you get a bite or somebody tries to bite you, but it could be in a metaphorical way, of course, but somebody tried to backstab you. We need to be very careful here, uh, and we probably didn't see it coming, so we need to be prepared for immediate action. It's possible that a certain person in the home environment, this could be a partner also, or a colleague, is very jealous. Sometimes the snake can be very jealous, and this person crosses borders because of jealousy. There is no more limitation. This person don't know their limits anymore. Um, here we see that this could happen all um, quite, it could be like you get uh, the idea, my God, is this real? And it's really happening here, um, what we are seeing here. It's th these people, in your workplace or in the home family environment, they really try to catch you. They really try to hurt you. This is what we are seeing here with this combination. If this is of course on the work front, we need to find solution. Probably you will decide for discontin discontinuing your career or the snake is smart, she goes around. So it's possible to, that you make a detour and you find your way out there for moving to another place. As I said, don't reveal your plans. That is the catch here. You need to be very smart. Um, here, you cannot speak before you have actually something else that can back you up. Um, but here we see, we see a very ambitious person, a very focused person, a person who, a person who can really focus on certain targets in, in your life. I'm gonna give a little hint for the future, but if you want to see the whole card reading, just watch the nine card reading. We have the child here, so it means there is some improvement. But if you want to hold the see the whole card reading, just check the nine card reading that I do for the water group here for the month of December. Anyway, uh, uh, Capricorn, thank you for your time. And I'm sure we see each other in the rest of the card reading. Thank you and bye-bye for now. Hello Capricorn and welcome to the aerosol group for your short trip. But as you can see here, there are not three cards, but there are nine cards here. This is because this is an extraction from your monthly nine card portrait, especially here from the air group. So if you want to see the whole reading, you just check the air group in my channel and there you can find the whole reading. But we will focus only on the upper line here because I find this is interesting. The first card that we see here is, um, is 
that we are confronted with important choices in our life here. Um, it's possible here that we need to make important decisions. These could be big decisions because we have the mountain there. They could be amplified here. It's possible because these decisions are important, we hesitating or we resist here some changes here. Uh, it's possible also that um, we have a lot of faith that things will get better um, and they might be, but we will see how this is going. Also, uh, I want to come here in short to the dog. This is the middle card here. Uh, and it's possible here that um, in our groups of friends, we are well liked. People like to be around us. We are well perceived by others with siblings, colleagues, friends here. Uh, we play a good role here and they like to be around us. Now, coming back to the first two cards here, uh, the the, the crossroads and the mice here, um, it points here that we need to think very wisely if we take certain decisions in our life. Because if we take the, the wrong decision, we could end up in more problems. So here, it's point here also that we feel we should have more room to maneuver. It's possible here with the mountain. The mountain sometimes makes things tight. So we are on the road and it's like we are very strict and we cannot maneuver here. Uh, think something is restricting us for moving. So here, the best thing here that we do is we need to keep a very strong focus on the details because we have the mice here and the mice point to details. So problem, if possibly if we want to solve our problems, we need to uh, take care of the details that are around us. So the problem could be in the details, but also the solution. This is what we are seeing here. Possibly also the solution will be delayed because the, the mice tend to delay things. So it's possible here, and also the mountain is a slow card. So if we make certain decision, it's possible that, that it's not immediately possible to take these decision. But anyway, we need to think wisely about this a combination that we don't make bad choices. Sometimes also, if we are on the road, we need to be careful that things are not taken from, from us because sometimes also this points to pickpockets here. Uh, anyway, um, here it points that eventually nobody else, your friends cannot decide for you. You are the one who need to make this decision. And it could be tiring that you need to take certain decision. Also, you could actually feel tired. Um, it's possible that your alternatives or your choices are very limited with the mountain. The limit, the mountain sometimes can limit our choices. It can limit our freedom. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. There are, we have very few alternatives. It's like our alternatives here are dwindling here. This is what we are seeing here. And always we are nagging. The, the mice can nibble. And it's like we are always nagging about these decisions. And it's like we are unable to make up our mind up, but we have to. We have to. And if we stay in this issue, situation, we know it will not improve. So we actually, we need to, to make this decision. We want to delay it and we cannot. So we, it's very important here that you take your time for making the right decision. Then we have the, the mice uh, and the mountain on itself here. We see, as I said, we see there are obstacles, there are delays. We need to do a lot of efforts for getting out of these uh, problems here. Um, we should, we should see, be very careful here and think very wisely about the details here because this, the solution is in the details. But this is the mountain, so it will take us time. It's sometimes it's not easy to climb the mountain. For uh, Capricorn is a sign that is uh, mostly he can handle problems very well. And um, we have the mountain here, and since Capricorn, and I mean it is in a positive what I'm going to say, you know, Capricorn is a goat, and mostly with problems, they are very, they can handle problems quite well. It's a hard sign, and they know how to solve problems. It doesn't mean you're going to have a lot of energy, because here we see that these obstacles, they gnaw at your energy, and if you move, you need to slowly climb up the mountains, but you will here with uh, do this in a in a in a in an elegant way here, you will uh, slowly climb up the mountain. Um, anyway, we will resist here for uh, things. It's possible that the problems are very close to us, but it's like an elephant in the room. Sometimes we don't want to see the problem and they stare us right in the face. This is what we are seeing. It's possible also that this works on your health, it, it, that your health declines and you 
you might lose weight uh, from these problems that are surround you. Um, and it's possible, we need to be careful that some people don't add to our problems, that they see we are already in problems and they add to our problems for stabbing us in the back or for making our situation more difficult. There's like an unhealthy sphere here. So we need to be careful here with this uh, combination. Anyway, there could be weight loss here on the per uh, on the person and uh, this could be a draining situation. Then we have the crossroads and the mice. We gotta mirror the cards here towards each other. Um, again here we have the same it's always that things are slowing down at a certain point you will literally come in front of a roadblock uh, and you cannot move anymore you cannot go left you cannot go right and it's very difficult this whole situation um it's like there's a kind of paralysis and here we cannot move anymore this is really a problem problematic uh, choice and it's possible here there is more than one problem because we have the crossroads there. Uh, so it's, it's also, the mountain is slow and it's possible that this lingers on for quite a while. This is what we are seeing here. So because we have several problems, it's possible we need to put our problems in priorities. So we need to prioritize what we solve first. We need to keep our mind here uh, very good working, but you have the rider here, so you are able to um, put your priorities because this will be important also that you set priorities for solving your problems. Eventually, I'm going now ahead in the situation, um, eventually you will make an end to it, but if you want to see the whole card reading, how to work this out, just check my channel, check the aerosol group, and there you will have the whole card reading and the solution probably will be included. Anyway, uh, Capricorn, thank you for your time. Uh, and I'm sure we see each other in my other videos. You can also watch the love card readings uh, that you find on my channel or uh, the financial card readings. Anyway, thank you for your time and see you soon. Hello Capricorn and welcome to the stone group for your short triplet. As you can see, I have not three cards, but nine cards here. This is because I extract a reading, a part of the reading out of your nine card portrait. So if you want to see the full portrait, the full card reading, just check the stone group on my uh, channel and there you can see the full reading. I have chosen the first line, the first three cards here, and I will give you more information also about this uh, uh, line now. But I want to mention also the central card here. This is our behavior that we display towards other man or woman. You can there put yourself there as a woman also. So the behavior that we are displaying here, the dog is a card that follows. Uh, he has a lot of friends around us. He's well liked by friends. Uh, also, we are well perceived by others, by colleagues, by friends, by peers. Uh, and also we like to have our pets around as we know a Capricorn is in general a very a great pet lover. Uh, anyway, uh, here we see also that um, if we are uh, in uh, not in a friendly mood for now, actually we should behave more friendly uh, because it's a good time here to be friendly. This is the advice that we are getting from the cards here. Uh, anyway, you will see that friendships, colleagues, uh, family members are very important in this time of your life. Uh, it's possible also if you have if if you face certain problems that a colleague or a friend or a brother or a sister helps you out for solving these problems. Now we're gonna go in the first line, the, the line that I have chosen for you. Here we see the person card, this could be a man or a woman in combination with the sun. And this points uh, you yourself, you are a very supportive person. And also you accept, uh, you expect that others support you and help you. There's a warmth around you and people like the way you radiate, uh, you are, probably very successful and you're popular in the work floor. And uh, since you're so popular, if you're friendly, you will attract more people because you have the moon here and the moon attracts people. So this could be a very popular time for you in whatever profession or whatever creative field that you are. Uh, this is uh, like a very blissful uh, time here that has come over you. Uh, there's a, sun, a kind of brilliance, uh, sunniness, over you. Uh, this could be all a little bit overwhelming for you, um, but uh, people really like to be around you here with this uh, combination. Anyway, you behave happy. happy. Um, if you uh, act a little bit cold, it's like you warm literally up here with this uh, combination. If you are a woman, it's possible here that 
a, a man, uh, he accompanies you several days here for certain things. Maybe you come together and you spend a few days off together, or maybe you spend wait, one day together here with a man or with a woman here. But this could mean a short vacation. You take a short break with a friend, a friend or a colleague, or maybe it's a lover here. Uh, but for that, you need to see the love card reading that I also do for you. Anyway, here um, we behave well towards each other. We are friendly towards each other. And um, we are uh, very attractive. Our personality is very attractive towards women. Or if you're a woman, you're very uh, women or men attract you here. The person really attracts um, uh, the other gender. And then we have the sun uh, and the moon here. Uh, here we see that um, this normally points love. I cannot say anything else here. This points to love. There's a, this is a very good uh, combination. This points to yin and yang. We are very much in balance here. And that's probably why we attract certain partners. We attract here uh, people because they feel that we are in balance. We are doing well. If we are on the road to success, it tends to attract more people. And this is what we are seeing here. Also, if we are in a creative um, field, we are very creative here, we can really shine. Here, this is what we have learned before in school or experience, we can really reflect this in our work. If we are a creative person, this is a very creative, for instance, if you're a singer, if you're a dancer, if whatever it is that makes you creative, a painter, you can really execute yourself very well. You can really express your feelings in what you are doing. It doesn't matter what your profession is, even if you work with money, you can really, you are really at home in what you're doing right now. This is what we are seeing here. But this points also to a union of man and woman. And that means that in a positive way here, there's a lot of possibilities here. Sometimes with this combination, we need to be careful also um, not making a, a woman pregnant or if you're a woman not to get pregnant. So if you don't have a uh, intentions there, be careful here, especially we have the stork here, so we need to be careful. But if you want to see the full reading, I will explain this later. Just check my channel then. Uh, here we see also that we have a lot of success uh, on the work floor. Uh, floor here, we are creative also. Uh, we really are connected here with the other world. It's like we intuitively knew or knowing what we are doing. It's like it's just coming out. It's like we are mirroring all our knowledge and everything falls into place here. Uh, this, is, uh, this is really good here, what we are seeing here. Also, even if we are sleeping, we have happy dreams. Everything is very hunky-dory here with this uh, combination here. Um, and also, uh, probably you will say it to people, I am really in a creative period. I am really feeling good. My work is going so well. The sun mostly don't hide. It says what it thinks and what it feels. So this is a very good, good combination also that we are seeing. Then we have, um, we're gonna mirror the cards. Uh, we're gonna mirror uh, the man and the moon here uh, or the person card and the moon. Um, here we see that um, also we attract people um, who are a reflection of ourselves. Uh, and this is a positive attraction that we are having here. Uh, it's possible that if we are a man, a woman invites us, or if we are a woman, that a man invites us. We are in different times now. So it's possible here, if you are a man, that a woman invites you somewhere, maybe for a, a day of a vacation. If you are a man, uh, you invite a woman and you will get a positive answer here because you uh, have the sun here and the sun is yes. So uh, this is what we are seeing here. Also, uh, if you go out as a couple, the person that you invite, you will have a very strong connection with this uh, uh, with this person, there could really uh, be something going on here between the two parties. Um, this person that you're going with, man or woman, uh, is very sensitive. Also, as I said, this points to a lot of hormones here. The moon is hormones, and this is a lot of testosterone, so you get the point here. We need to be careful. Uh, anyway, there's a lot of uh, feelings here. Also, indications for sexuality here. So this is um, a very, uh, very good combination for uh, coupling up or whatever it is. It's very good on the work. It's very, very good as a couple. This is a very promising combination. I want to add here, um, on the front of, um, of the finances, there are some changes coming up, but for that, you need to see the whole card trading and you can find them, the Stone Group, on my channel. Um, 
and you just check there and you can find the whole reading. Anyway, Capricorn, thank you for your time. And I'm sure we see each other in the extended card readings. Thank you and bye-bye for now. Hello, Capricorn, and welcome to the matches or the fire group for your triplet three card readings. But as you see here, there are nine cards here. This is why I, uh, the reason why you see nine cards here is because I extract the three cards out of your monthly nine card portrait from the fire group. So if you want to see the whole reading, uh, you can go to my channel and check the fire group. But we will focus now here on three cards. We will focus on three middle cards because I think this is an important line. But of course, I need to introduce the card reading. Here you have the sun and the sun is a very positive card to have. You have that actually on your person. And here we see that we have certain wish fulfillments. Things go very well here. The sun is an all over positive cards. And in many cases, it gives the answer as yes. The second positive card here that you are having is the key. The key unlocks all doors. So literally for solving problems, uh, in most of the time, you will have the solutions because the key can unlock many things. It's like here, like you have a key that opens all locks and that solves all problems. But we will see how this works out. Uh, the first card that we uh, see here, um, anyway, also this card here, uh, it tells us if we have certain problems in our life we and we think about it, we probably uh, will find a solution. There will be a successful outcome here, but we need to use our brain here for solving the problems here. Also, you have the card of thinking. So uh, here, if you want to achieve certain goals or you need to solve certain problems here, you need to think wisely about it, not immediately decide, but think for a while. Then we go in the short card reading here. We, uh, we have the anchor and the key here. The anchor and the key here, it points that um, sometimes this combination is people who are in a, uh, have, uh, happens by people who are independent or who have a lot of independence in their work. Because this points that we uh, can be self-reliant. We are very resourceful. Also, we do certain achievements. We reach certain goals in our life. Uh, no matter what your goals are, studying or working here, we are very ambitious here for our goals. And as why not, we know here, um, Capricorn is a very ambitious sign. On the long run, he can very focus. He can be, be very hard towards itself for achieving his goal here. So here, if you have any doubts, probably you will uh, proceed here. Um, we will uh, lay, or you will lay, uh, very established foundations for getting more security on the long run in your life. Uh, here, this, especially with the cross, you are very serious about it. Um, also, even though we are in a very deep structure and we are very focused, our mind could be very free. So we are thinking in a free way, but we keep our structure because we know what is our goal, where we want to go. Here also we see with this combination that, <clears throat> excuse me, that uh, we open up and we are thinking about what is later going to happen. We think how we can uh, settle ourselves down, how we can get more roots, get our feet more on the ground, especially with the anchor. The anchor li likes to have his feet on the ground, li likes to touch the, 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 the ground here, literally uh, with the feet here. Uh, it's possible also literally that you, because we have the sun here also, this is additional, that you choose to have, go a day on the beach and that you feel uh, the sand in the beach here. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. Of course, it depends on the place where you're living and uh, the season. Uh, anyway, um, well, but this can point to a vacation also. Uh, anyway, uh, here um, we see here also that um, we could visit places that have water. Anyway, uh, we will safely bring ourselves uh, to try to reach our goals here. Uh, we ha will have certain breakthroughs in our uh, life and perseverance, especially with the anchor, is the key here for moving forward. Um, anyway, um, also uh, related to our house or our home, probably we are very grounded. We like to have the key in our pocket from our house. This is what we are seeing here with this combination. In another way, this can point to a, a change of residence. So literally we get the key uh, for another house. We could decide this. It's possible there are some 
<clears throat> excuse me, there come some responsibilities if we do so, because the cross tells us, okay, you do this, but these are your responsibilities. This is what we see here with this uh, combination. Anyway, uh, we will, uh, we have the possibility here to say yes. So um, a house could be literally offered to us if we are searching for it, it's possibly that it's literally offered to us. Um, anyway, um, also you will maybe doubt, will I take up this responsibility? for the settling down. And probably with the cross you will, because the cross is actually ruled by Saturn, which is your master and uh, or your Lord. And, and here we see that we take up responsibility. We know what this responsibility holds in and we will stick to it here. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. Anyway, uh, if you had certain routines before, these routines that you have before will change. Some things in your life will change. It will not be the same pattern anymore. Then we have the key and the cross. The key and the cross is a very strong combination that we are seeing here. This Here we really work towards our success here. Uh, also, it points that we should have faith in our uh, abilities, in our stabilities for becoming stable here. If you are a religious person or a spiritual person, this can point also that we are uh, having like um, a very strong connection to our faith or to our religion. This is what we are seeing here with this combination also. Uh, we are very conscious from what is going on in our life, religiously and also on, uh, on the field of our life here. Um, we are very good in balance what is playing in our head and what is playing in the reality here. Uh, things might not be always difficult, but if you have difficulties, probably you will rely on your spirituality or your religion for, because this gives you a fate. Maybe we open more up to religion here or for your faith here. But anyway, this points that we accept more responsibilities, more burdens. Uh, we, we know what uh, are the implications of these burdens and we open up for these duties, these implications that are coming into our life. If you had a difficult time before in your life, we have the sun here. Here we see that we literally see the sun is the light. We see the end of the tunnel here. This is what we are seeing here. Anyway, if you want to achieve where you want to go, it will not come easy. That's the other side. The, the, cr the cross comes not easy. It doesn't give um, things easy. But if you work through it, the reward will be the greater. Um, this is ruled by Saturn, and Saturn is, is, a, is, a, is a hard master. But once you cross the timeline, he also gives. That is the other side of Saturn, but it will not be easy here. Uh, then we are going to mirror the cards. We mirror the anchor and uh, the cross. We mirror them towards each other here. Uh, here we see again the burdens, the obligations here. Um, sometimes we have taken these obligations and now we stick to them. We become aware of them and maybe it's, it's not what we expected. It's not necessarily bad here, but we, we know we need to solve the responsibilities that we have taken. Um, we need, if the situation is uh, a little bit unpleasant, we will stick with it. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. Anyway, uh, again, here we find a lot of stability in our religion. We uh, also in on the work field or on the study front, wherever you are studying or, or working, here you will uh, stick to do your determination. You are very determined here for doing here. Uh, you Even if even it's difficult, you will say, okay, difficult or not, I just go for it. You will continue what you do, uh, difficult or easy. Uh, you will really cling to it because the, the, the anchor clings. Once it's decided, it stays. So you will stick to the problems and you will, even though it puts pressure on you, because the, uh, the cross can put pressure on us, even it put pressure on us, you will go for it and you will go for the pressure. You will accept the, the work stress, the study stress, whatever kind of stress, you will accept it and you move forward. So uh, Capricorn, this is all for this line uh, for your card reading. If you want the whole uh, card reading, there are some problems here uh, that are coming up here because we have the clouds here and the bear. So maybe some problems here coming up in the future, but if you want more details about the problems uh, here that are coming here, 
I will explain this in the whole card reading. You need to check the whole card reading, but some big problems here might coming up. Uh, anyway, thank you for your time. And I'm sure we see each other in my more extensive videos. If you want more about your love life, you can check the love card readings. Or uh, if you want more over your financial side, we do philosophical card readings and you can find these in the philosophical card readings for the sign of Capricorn. Anyway, thank you for your time and I'm sure we see each other soon. Bye bye for now.